Hey yo, this is Dash, and I'm coming to you from my kitchen today because I want to talk to you about a new toy that I got. Even though it's not actually a toy, it's really something serious. And if you can tell by the title, I got myself a Watchman stove. Now you're going to have to pardon my kitchen here. Unfortunately, this was pretty much the only open, upright space where I could do this. What I'm going to be doing is painting this. Um, but before I paint the stove, because it is in a raw, bare metal finish, but before I paint the stove, I wanted to talk to you about what it is exactly I have. So, if you don't know who Kirk is, Kirk is the inventor and the builder of the Watchman stove, which is a campfire cook stove type of, you know, apparatus. You can run it on firewood, you can run it on pellets, or soon to be running on pellets, you can run it on sticks. And also you can run it on charcoal. You can use it to cook. You can use it um, just as a like a bonfire type thing. Um, a camp stove. You know, heat your water or do, do direct cooking up on top there. And one of the um, nice things, Kirk has since uh, inventing this and building these, um, he has since partnered with Winchester Metals. Winchester Metals is who you can purchase these these uh, kits. You can buy a kit that you can take and you can weld this together and save yourself some, some uh, money. Um, and I guess you probably save some money in shipping too because it won't be as big of a package. But let me walk you around this thing and show you what it is exactly and we'll go from there. Let's start with some of the accessories. So this is a stainless, um, like a catch pan or a, like a drip pan or ash ash pan that goes underneath underneath of the stove. These are the legs to help that will prop the stove up, so that when you're cooking on it, it is you know like waist height. This is something new, actually. I'm sorry. Let's go back to this. This is a stainless piece that goes down in here. What that will allow you to do is put charcoal right up in this upper upside down funnel, if you uh, so choose to call it. You can put your charcoal right there and do some direct cooking right here. Typically, or the majority of the, of the way you would use it is you would load your firewood in here, start your fire. This is your air gap to feed the fire and then your exhaust and heat and smoke are going to come out of the top here. You also can put charcoal directly down the chimney if you will and also if you wanted to do a, you know more cooking or a, a greater deal of cooking you can put charcoal down in the middle there. But for all intents and purposes today I'm just going to talk about the kit what it is, what's new, and how you can get one yourself. All right, before I go any further, full disclosure, Kirk took and made a video, a how-to video of, put, of how to put one of these together. This particular Watchman is the result of that how-to video. When he finished with that video, I expressed interest in it. He told me, kind of hold on. And there was an eBay auction uh, for this particular stove. I won the stove. I went down to Kirk's house. I picked it up. All right. So let's get back to these accessories. These are the legs. I think I mentioned those before. They go on here. You'll raise the stove up to about waist height. This is your um, ash catch. It goes all the way at the bottom of the stove so that your ash can stay up in there. You can also use this as a secondary um, air source so that if you need more air, additional air to get up into your fire, you can. This is something new. This bar is for a trailer receiver. This is a two inch, um, two inch receiver. And what the fine folks at Winchester Metals have done is they've started including a mount or a piece for you to mount that receiver or the hitch mount directly onto your stove. Now, when or if you get this as a kit, the kit runs about $250. So 
So when you get the kit, you can decide how you want to mount this. When I was at Kirk's house, um, I had it mounted on the lower side to uh, try and, you know, so the stove would be higher off of the ground because my car is lower and um, I was hoping that I would have, you know, as much clearance as possible. So, but you can elect to mount it on the underside or on the upper side. The back side of the chimney is the preferred location though. But, so, and the whole thing is this goes in here like this and then this part connects to your your vehicle if you decide to get one of these or order one of these from Winchester metals who again is linked down in the description they come in a kit the kit you can weld the and put this entire thing together yourself um, if you get that kit you will it will come in a raw bare metal finish that raw bare metal finish you will need to finish it yourself I recommend a high temperature paint this is what I use to paint my steel drums when I make them so I'm gonna use I'm gonna paint this today and I'm gonna use a combination of this barbecue black ace rust stop paint and some rust-oleum high heat Paint. Hopefully that focuses well enough. All right, and I'm going to paint my kit, and hopefully I'll get to use it soon. And um, I'm going to try to keep you guys updated with how the progress. All right, happens. so just a quick update so far. Please don't mind the brush strokes. I happen to pick up a cheap, like two dollar. Paintbrush from like Lowe's or Home Depot when I was in there the other day. Had I been smart and had it been warmer, I would have uh, sprayed this. I would have taken the high temperature paint and put it in my uh, air gun and I would have sprayed the paint on. But again, it is cold and I am itching to use this thing. So what I ended up, what I ended up doing, and this is what I would suggest to you guys, um, if you're thinking about getting one of these and, and uh, painting it yourselves, I use the spray can more like a primer and then I'm putting the paint on top because it's thicker so also it uh, it allowed me to get into the nooks and crannies with the uh, the spray can so I did all around the welded edges in between like where the legs are all on the underside and then like I said in between all of the welds and um, like I said also I put the um, the paint on thicker focus I put the paint on thicker um, just because I want the finish to last for a while I know that it's never gonna look as good as it does now um, once I start using it so nonetheless uh, underside is done and I'll let this dry for a little while and I will come back and update you Probably a little later tonight. I'm gonna let this dry for a few hours. And go from there. Yep, this is Dash and I'm back in my kitchen. Just a little update on the stove. So unfortunately, well, sorry. Fortunately, I did get it painted completely. Unfortunately, this paint is rather thick and the brush that I picked up rather lackluster so i'm gonna have to go over this again i really wanted to get a coat on it quickly though to make sure that um it didn't rust or anything like that when i put it outside and go to use it but for all intents and purposes we are good for right now so that i can actually use it and then i guess i will just try to make sure that i store it covered um Make sure, check out the links in the description to see about how to get one of these for yourself. I believe, again, the um, uh, the kit that you have to assemble is uh, about $250, and I'm not sure, but they do sell them fully assembled, fully welded, fully painted. All you have to do is pretty much take it out the box, put the legs and maybe the top on, 
and uh, you're ready to rock and roll. Check out the gentleman at uh, Winchester Metals. Link is down in the description. And uh, also, if you can, uh, stop past my man Kirk's channel. Tell him uh, thank you for inventing this thing. And, um, well, inventing this design. And uh, leave him a like and a comment on uh, maybe some of his videos. And uh, tell him to keep up the good work. As well as some of the, um, the product testing for different attachments and uh, different ways to use the stove. So, thanks again, Kirk. And uh, the gentleman down at Winchester Metals, appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.